On my first Champion 3400 video, I showed the unboxing, taking it apart, and doing the setup. And as I was uh, doing the setup and moving it for the first time, pulling the handle out, I realized that this end cover is cracked here and it's cracked all the way across the top. I contacted Champion on the phone and uh, they said, well, I've got one of three choices. I can either return it back to Amazon, take it to a authorized service center, or they'll send me the parts and I can install the parts myself. Well, I had already put oil in it and fuel. I didn't want to send it back to Amazon. I'd have to drain that out and taking it to a service center that usually means you drop it off and come back and get it in a week or two. I didn't want to do that. So I said, yeah, send me the parts out. Said they would send me out the end cover and a new handle. And about four days later, five days later, I received this box in the mail. It's got the new handle and it's got the new end cover. The new end cover, by just looking at it, has screws, two screws at the bottom. They have a bolt on each side. And the handle itself, it has three Phillips head screws, one on each end and one in the middle. Well, I took those three screws out and I couldn't even get the handle to come off. Uh, so I went ahead and I, on the cover, I took the two screws off, the two bolts on the bottom, and tried to pull the cover off, but the cover was still on there very solid. It wasn't going anywhere. So, a little bit frustrated at that point. Uh, I got to thinking about this thing and maybe I've got the wrong part and I took the cover and I flipped it around and right up here on each side has got a bolt hole for a bolt from the inside. So that's what was holding this end cover in place. So in order to get those two bolts out, I, I've resorted to YouTube and I found a website I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I'll put you a link in the description. But it is a repair shop that specializes in these Champion inverter generators. And that gentleman showed me how to take the top cover off. Not this cover, but to take the top cover off. So let's take a look at that. So here's the top cover, and it's got four bolts in it. And when I removed it, I then had access in here to the two bolts that were holding this on. So I'm gonna go ahead now and try to pull that cover off. Okay, as you can see, you have to have the tow handle up out of the way. I've taken the two bolts off on the inside. There's two Phillips head screws here. Then at the bottom, there's two bolts down there. So with that said, this should come off. And voila. It is off. While I'm in here, I'm gonna look around and you can see the spark arrestor here. I'm not quite sure what that is, but some sort of baffling there. At some point, I'm sure that spark arrestor will need cleaning. At least now I know how to get to it when that's needed. So let's look at how this tow handle is attached. It has this metal cross member and it's bolted right to that. So it has uh, nothing to do with the carry handles, they're completely separate. So with the new end piece, let's go ahead and uh, install that. So the two inside bolts are 10 millimeter. This plastic is quite resilient.
I do have the top cover back on. Again, it has these four bolts in there. It takes some uh, manipulation with the plastic to get it back in there. Some of these pieces kind of snap in place. You do have to take the fuel cap completely off in order to get that top off. So I've just got to do the handles and the fuel cap and I should be done. Okay, it's all back together. Here's the broken cover coming off. The new cover's back on. Some tips I'd like to leave with you is don't be shy in dealing with these plastic connections here because they, some are snap in and uh, they can be a little bit difficult, especially getting the handles off for the first time. Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And until next time, thanks for watching.